<laughs> the picture says a thousand words. <laughs> It's the Frank Show. What the Frank Show? Come on, the Frank Show. What the Frank Show? Come on, the Frank Show. What the Frank Show? Come on, the Frank Show. It's time for the show. Pow. Aloha, heads, that's Frankie Boy here, and it is time for the Frank Show. Now, today we have a special edition for you. This is brought to you courtesy of the amazing people over at Fast Travel Games, a developer whose name you better remember, and they have a beautiful new game coming to PlayStation VR called Apex Construct. Now, at the same time that this video is going up, I also have an hour of unedited Apex Construct footage for you guys to check out. Now, I did not talk on this one. There's no commentary. We're going to update that one tomorrow. But for that of you watching that one, they watch this first. It is still not completely finished. And I go from the first level to the third level. There's another level in between. So, two levels over an hour. Uh, not too bad, you guys. Now, on to a little bit more about this trip. Now, first up, I heard months ago that I was going to go. And I did not believe it was real till we finally got to the airport and held the tickets in hand in the morning and boom suitcase boom av equipment and boom other suitcase shelly's gonna have it and, and luckily we got there very early to the first airport but to the second airport we were not so lucky if you've ever had some kind of connecting flight that was close it, it's the worst thing on earth now there was a little bad weather so our airplane was two hours delayed uh, so when we finally got to the other airport we had 15 minutes to make it about two miles to the other gate now luckily we didn't have to go through any kind of uh, customs or that would have been terrible but I uh, we were I mean I had two bags in my hand running up escalators that were out, that were out of order that day what well, I mean I mean the worst things just kept happening having to run from here to there we got to the air tram and it left as we pulled up to the door it was just like a we are in Washington for a minute and hopefully we don't miss the connecting flight <laughs> Are you kidding me? And then we had to wait 10 minutes for the next one. Got on that one. Got on the thing. Finally got on the thing. As we were like uh, 200 feet away from the gate, they started calling our names on the on the thing. That has never happened to me before. I was always like, who's that person that's not at the gate? I mean, I'm just, who, who's that guy? That, I, I was that guy. I was the guy on the intercom for the first time in my entire life. But we made it. We got on a plane. Uh, we made it there. All the flights there were okay. I mean, I get uncomfortable. I watched some movies. I watched Deadpool for the first time. It was pretty funny. Uh, and that was really the only memorable one that I saw on a plane. We landed, and oh my God, we landed early. We, I, I was the first person there. Now, uh, you guys don't know Frankie outside of the channel, but I try to help as much as I can. So as soon as I got there, I was there three hours before the team from Fast Travel was even there. I was waiting outside the door for him. As soon as I got there, I said, what can I do? What can I set up? What can I build how can i help you guys i said no frankie i said no you guys i gotta help you out uh, oscar you guys you are amazing andreas dude yeah i, I mean you got mo mo uh, most amazing people ever uh christopher um uh, leo I, I i wish i dj uh i, I mean dk uh, I, I wish i remember more names i try as hard as i can to remember about everybody but you guys you are so beautiful thank you for having us all come through and when i say all of us they invited a ton of vr content creators i think maybe this was the first time that this ever happened and 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 when i say uh, vr content creators i mean the people making the youtube videos about virtual reality and that's it that is what their channel's about that is what they're pushing that is what they want to succeed just like your boy frankie and boy or there's some standouts there we have my man from amsterdam mr nathy we had the uh dangerous mr lonely viper we had the fastest youtuber alive mr rowdy guy we had my Swedish connection, Mr. Suaviva. We had the mofo with the afro, Mr. Midzones. We had my Latin lover, Hugon Virtual, the inseparable Cass and Cherry, and my man with the mix, Sebastian. And I mean, boy, did these guys represent. And I will link all of their channels below. And I definitely suggest you check out some of their videos, even if it's just the videos of the trip to Sweden so you can see your boy Frankie and hit subscribe on their channel because help them grow as much as you help your boy Frankie grow because we all want to see VR succeed in the future and that's what this is all about and that is why they invited us there they wanted us to check out their game so 
I got there, helped him set out, went to sleep. That day, that night, all the other guys came, got to hang out with Lonely Viper. Dude, he, he, he was my buddy. We really hit it off. Had so much fun. Nathan, you're amazing, man. Rowdy guy, we had so much fun. Survivor, Martin, man, I love you. You're great. Uh, I, you guys, and Carlos from Who Got Virtual. I mean, honestly, I had such a great time. These were such wonderful people, and we really got along, and everybody vibed, and it was nice, and we hung out that night, got some drinks, and, you know, kicked it back, Stockholm style. And then the next morning, it was straight on to business. We had a little meeting beforehand. He told us all about this embargo, the little things that I couldn't tell you here and there. And the one big thing that I could not tell you guys other than the release date of the wonderful date of February 20th, so we really only got a little bit over a month, is that there is free locomotion and smooth turning. Yes, and it is beautiful. It works so well. And, and they hadn't implemented it from the start, but they heard from the community, and the community said, we want free locomotion motion we want free turning and the thing is andreas a big pr guy loves skyrim that's all he ever plays and he is super cool free locomotion and he said i want this in the game it's it's wonderful so it is the exact same implementation you guys you hold the move button down you look around and you press one button to turn your head that way one button to turn the head the other way they also implement this really cool thing for if you want like rotational degree turning which I think a lot of developers are going to kind of pick up on and start using is all you have to do is press one button and you flick the move controller and it would turn it that little rotation so for people that like that you just press one button flick flick it makes it much easier much more fluid than having to like remember I know it's stupid to remember left and right but still it's so much easier just to, I, it, it's great and I like to see new things happening in VR especially with PSVR because I mean that's what we're all about so like I said we had the meeting we talked about the little embargo details here and there and then we were all scheduled to play the game and your boy Frankie of course uh, was scheduled first now when we got up in there I, they said we well, want to play PSVR HTC Vive or Oculus it's I said, come on, what do you think I want to play on? And so I played on PSVR, and they actually had it hooked up to a Slim. So I was glad to know that I was playing it on the OG PSVR. And, and boy, you guys, it, it, it really was crisp. It really was nice. There was some, there were, the buildings off in the distance were a little bit, you know what I mean? Like, like uh, ter not Terry, it wasn't bad, but they were popping a little bit. They weren't as solid, but everything up close was really, really nice. I really enjoyed the art style. Um, it, it's a mystery game to a certain degree, you guys, with bow and arrow combat you get different kinds of arrows uh, the inventory system was really cool this little thing that popped out and you got to like pick what you wanted out of here and there it has full move control support and it really did work very well the, uh, the bow and arrow dynamic is nice uh, it's solid it, it feels great to like flick it out and shoot them you can duck and dodge arrows or you get a shield on your other hand so you can just use a shield and you can kind of block all the arrows and stuff coming at you it just really depends on your play style which is nice uh, like I said you can teleport around or you get free locomotion and and like I said, it's a mystery so there's two AIs a mother and a father and, and you're bickering and you don't know what's going on and you're in this world and you're trying to figure out uh, what you're doing here what you're doing in this world you get a hub world that's your home and you can pick up little things in the real world when you're playing and save them in your inventory and then go to your hub world and put them on the walls and put them as decorations in your hub world so you can actually customize your own hub world within that game in that same place you can listen to audio logs from the game to get a little more backstory there's stuff to read if you would like. There are collectibles galore. You can go back and explore more levels because there are alternate paths within each level if you don't solve them all at once. I mean, you guys, there are a lot of things to do in this game, plus tons of levels. They would not tell me exactly how many levels, but that's because they wanted to wait to surprise me with the full game. And I really got into the story and got excited about it. And I do like a nice, proper, single-player mystery story, action, adventure, moving around. You know what I mean? There were puzzles to solve switching up arrows here and there I I really had a great time with it I, and, and if I wasn't a little more tired I would be just hopping up and down but I it was it was a great game and I am really excited for the community to start playing this one because I think you guys are all gonna love it everybody loved the bow and arrow from Skyrim and this is so much more solid and built to be a bow and arrow game you know what I mean and it really feels like, like it, it's just good I mean on the PC side they got a lot of arrow games that are great but we do not have a solid one yet and this really 
really takes the cake because not only is it just an arrow game, it's story driven too. And they did mention notes of possible multiplayer aspects in the future, but and no news yet. But I promise you, I will be one of the first to know. So I will keep you posted on all of that. So you guys, I got to play the game. We got to hang out. And after we got to play the game, we got to do whatever we want. So Monica and I went around town. We went shopping. We found this awesome vintage store in uh, in um, Gamostan, which is the old part of Stockholm. And they, they were selling these awesome like 60s uh, like ski suits for girls. And there were, there were like two girls buying them when we went up there. Monica found this awesome duffel bag. I mean, it's such a cool town. Uh, we got some. And then later that night, we met up with everybody. We hung out again. We went to the most beautiful restaurant, the Gondolin, which is actually in the game. So so they took us to a restaurant that is that is replicated in the game because in the game world is kind of like a fractured version of Stockholm, the Swedish writing all over the place. So if you have any kind of Swedish heritage, you know any, you're going to love this game. You're going to have so much fun in it. And it was really a beautiful restaurant. I mean, like, like top-notch beautiful restaurant. Like he told me this is a business, like a business class restaurant. Like this is not, uh, we were definitely out of place, but it was, it was gorgeous. And the food, they tried. It was such a beautiful presentation, but it just, it wasn't up my, it wasn't my cup of tea. It was like, it was like buttered toast with like, uh, with shrimp and mayonnaise and dill and, and some kind of trout stuff. I mean, I, I, I really, and I squeezed some lemon on it and I tried really hard, but I'm I, I kind of a picky eater. And then the entree was just like undercooked lamb. And I mean, they, they bless their hearts. They definitely put on some beautiful food, but, but I, they, I, other than the Swedish meatballs, I, I, I wasn't, I wasn't digging the food so much over there, but I mean, I missed out on a whole lot. So I'm not saying that it's bad cuisine. It, it it's it just I didn't find anything while I was there. But after that, we all hung out even later, and they took us to the coolest bar on earth. They took us to a Viking bar, you guys. So we went in. It was like a dungeon, and there were these, like, tarps of cloth and fur over the thing. And some dude comes down and starts blowing fire and eating the fire and stuff. And I was just, <coughs> like, mind blown. Like, like this is what's going on right now. We drank meat. I don't even drink that much. And I had to try it. I mean, come on. And it, and, and it was just a beautiful experience experience hanging out with everybody honestly we just talked vr the whole time because the vive pro was talked about this weekend so that was on our minds apex was on our minds everybody getting together for the first time because uh, i talk to these people all the time but it was nice to really meet them in public and and it just was such a beautiful gathering. Monica had a great time. Uh, all of them brought significant others, and they all had a great time. Everybody just, it was beautiful. It was it was a mitzvah. It, it was just, I had, it, it was just, just top notch, and, and I, I can't, I can't express enough gratitude and thankfulness to Fast Travel Games for including me in this, in this, in this, in this, honestly, first time gathering of VR YouTubers. So, please, you guys, none of us are going anywhere. All of us dedicate hours and hours and hours a week to entertaining you guys and bringing you videos and hanging out so i hope you enjoyed this little story of me chit-chatting the pictures behind me the videos that i took and everything that happens on this channel and i hope you enjoy the gameplay of apex construct and i hope you enjoy the game when it finally comes out and you know your boy frankie will have one of the first reviews but uh, of course you guys already know that because we always have everything a playstation VR and if you are new to this channel and uh, you want to stay up to date on everything PlayStation VR and you you don't mind this ugly mug freaking subscribe I mean <laughs> come on <laughs> all right all right smooches thank you guys and have a lovely lovely day watch the gameplay footage it's awesome the commentary gameplay footage is coming up and i have an interview with uh the developers so they talk about some of their inspirations and just all that cool stuff if you're into that and it's your boy frankie interviewing them so you gotta check it out now thank you all for coming through you know i always include a little extra for those of you to make it this far and i lately i've been singing a little more and i think i want to sing on the channel a little more but I don't know. <laughs> what do you think? Let me know in the comments. But more importantly, let me know what you think about Apex Construct and what, and what you think about this video and the vlog series and the chit-chatting in there. I know. I, you guys know. You, you guys know I'm always a little self-conscious about the videos that not 100% VR reviews, gameplay, and those. So, you know, come on. Hook your boy Frankie up with some input. It's more just bye, guys.